Thank you, Matt. Love seeing families come together for both work and play. Well, moving now to the subject of law enforcement. In the United States, there are more than 3,000 sheriffs, and every year, the National Sheriff's Association chooses just one to honor as the National Sheriff of the Year. This year, that honor goes to someone right here in Northwest Ohio. Jennifer has more. It's the 75th anniversary of the National Sheriff's Association. Hundreds of law enforcement professionals attended this year's event in Baltimore, Maryland, including many from right here in Ohio. But this year's attendance also drew many non-law enforcement attendees because of this man, Shelby County Sheriff John Lenhart. Family, friends, and fellow elected officials made the long drive to Maryland to honor a Jackson Center farmer who embodies small-town values and a strong work ethic. Sheriff John Lenhart is the 2015 National Sheriff of the Year. A standing ovation for a man who has devoted more than half his life to the profession of law enforcement. His resume includes serving as the superintendent of the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation, assistant attorney general and director of law enforcement under Richard Cordray, and several presidential advisory appointments. He's also spent some time as the elected sheriff. A criteria to win this award is to be an active sheriff. Lenhart ironically retired after 25 years as sheriff of Shelby County, but then in 2011, he was back in office as the Shelby County Sheriff. It was October 2011 when retired Sheriff Lenhart again became active Sheriff Lenhart, appointed to the position after criminal charges were filed against previous Sheriff Dean Kimple. A lifelong Democrat, Lenhart changed to the Republican Party and ran for and then won the 2012 sheriff's race. Since then, he's focused on improving the budget, overall morale, of course, fighting crime, and something that's garnered him national attention, his plan to put law enforcement into the Shelby County schools and train the teachers how to defend their students. Almost three years ago after Sandy Hook, I was asked by a news reporter about school safety, active shooters, and she asked why I would put deputy sheriffs in schools, why would we do Alice training, and why would we train and arm teachers in our schools. And I told a reporter, I can't think of anything more important that we should be doing than step up and protect the 10,000 children in our county. As a sheriff, I couldn't think of anything else. I said, do you think that maybe I should have waited for the state or federal government to find a solution? Or how about if I wait for somebody to figure out the psychology of a killer, or maybe I should do a poll for the public? I didn't expect or need an answer. Uh, I'm like my father once said, those that are closest to the problem, they certainly know the solutions too. Once the youngest sheriff in Ohio, and now the oldest, Lenhart isn't slowing down. This Ferris E. Lucas Sheriff of the Year honoree still stands on the front lines devoted to improving safety conditions for those in his county and beyond. Sheriff, you can truly make a difference in the lives of citizens that you understand and appreciate the priorities and the culture of the citizens that, they, that you serve. On a daily basis, we are given an opportunity to make a positive difference in the world ways greater than we ever can imagine, simply by the virtue of the positions that we hold.